So today I'm going to go in a little bit uh, different direction um, that uh, most of you people on Instagram asked me about uh, if I could do more personal uh, things. So that's what I'm going to do with this video now. I'm going to go a little bit more in depth with that. So by the end of January, I think it was when I uploaded the first video on my Instagram channel, I asked you um, questions about what you would like to know from me. And uh, I think I'm just going to answer some of them now. Yeah. So the first question someone had was the evolution of my spiritual path throughout the years and its impact on my mental health. Yeah, that's interesting, um, but also a pretty complex question because it's not really easy to answer. Um, to put it to put it like that, I, I, I think I need to start a little bit at the beginning, which is that I... Um, was pretty much always interested in spirituality there has never been a moment where i haven't been as, at least not where i can remember and i think one of my earliest questions that i had was uh, who created god and to conclude a little bit about that i grew up in a more christian environment so we grew up with the belief in god but it was nothing like really forced or anything and i also never had any problem with christianity for me it was mostly either boring when it came to church or um yeah or i just try to found my fi try to find my own way through it anyway so i began reading those uh, scriptures very early and um uh, i i think i just tried to make my own uh, sense out of it and when i grew older i became interested more in occult things so starting out with the kind of satanism that everyone was doing but uh was a bit weird because I didn't really exactly grew up in a kind of specific music scene that influenced that. It was more later that music became because of that some important thing and I tried to connect that. So that's when I also came in contact with black metal and all of that also pretty early, like very early. And uh, yeah, but that has never been my... Uh, main uh, main topic about it um, for me it was more uh, since i had already knowledge about some spiritual things for me it was actually disappointing when i met the first people in this music scene and black metal scene and all of that because they were not at all what i expected them to be in the end it was uh, to conclude very short actually it was just drunk junkies um looking for girls so uh, I, I got off that really fast. Still, I like the music and I did my own music also, uh, still doing, but I never wanted to be in any contact with this scene or with any people of this scene mm. more than necessary. Uh, yeah, for the, that's uh, so much, so much for that. And uh, I think it was when I was around 15 where I um, finally read Lovecraft and that influenced me a lot and i mm. i saw the first time like some kind of relation of the gods before creation and uh, the ones that have always been in the universe so i uh, digged a bit deeper and uh, then i found gnosticism and that's an interesting thing because i think it was my first book that i got was gnosis and gnosticism from it actually comes also from the area where i'm born and uh, there I read the first time, I think it's a book from, I can actually get it. Wait a second. Yeah, that's the book. Uh, hope you can see. Let me just check. Yeah. So this book is from 1975. I became really interested in it. And uh, I found some similarities to the to the um, gods and old ones in in uh, the books of uh, Lovecraft. So from that moment on, actually, my path never changed. I was always interested in other traditions and also included things in my own pr um, practices. I'm not a person who is very stubborn with their own path and doesn't use anything else. I'm very strict with my own path. And don't want to include too many elements from anything else. What I'm believing in, I'm coming to later, but uh, not everything there was there before. So a lot of things had to be 
uh, made up or not made up, but ga gaps had to be filled with um, similar traditions and things that are in the Indo-European uh, cosmology, for example. So all of that went hand in hand and uh, evolved over time. But for that uh, moment, I was also interested a lot in uh, Buddhism uh, in in a lot of ways and Tantric Hinduism, uh, Tantric uh, um, yoga also, all of those kind of things. And uh, that was pretty much that was pretty much all the things that I am very knowledgeable about. The other things is just very superficial, not very superficial, but superficial, because I followed this path then um, probably about twenty years, yeah, until now. And uh, that's about the evolution. I can just say uh, some interesting thing about it is that I began in a very different way with it. I was very aggressive, hostile and um, different from what I am now. And back then, like especially in my 20s, I was mostly um, about like trying to find as most extreme situations as possible because I was um, so pissed off by the illusion that i live in and everything and i just try to find situations where i could actually die or something really bad happens or anything like that and i overcame that i actually the opposite happened and i realized that we are all trapped in this illusion and i'm not not better than anyone else just maybe on another level of interest so i'm see people who are not like what i want or what i like more like um uh how to say um I see them more, I, I feel more sad for them than anything else. And um, that's about it. I, I, I'm, I'm not a person who wants to help everyone in the world, but uh, of course with my closest circle and the people around me, I, I do that and like to do that also. But I have no real hate for anyone else, you know. I, I don't see anymore as it was before that there is any, uh, there is any uh, necessity in just uh, destroying anything for anyone else or it's the same with explaining things to people i do it here now and everyone can make out of that what they want and this is also a reason why i opened this channel but in direct talk with people you know it's very often that you explain them something you talk with them you talk about interesting concepts and they're on a completely different level or not at all on your level and um, there is no common basis that you have with them so for me that was always very difficult when people when you had to explain everything from the ground off and especially when you're very advanced in a topic you don't even know anymore what is common knowledge and what not and sometimes things that are entirely normal for you for about let's say 15 20 years and other people don't even know about it so that became a little bit annoying and uh, i wasn't really interested to be in contact with people anymore regarding spirituality so yeah that's mostly about it um yeah so uh, second question okay my questions and thoughts on the current spiritual state of art it's interesting um that you're asking me also about the questions i have uh about spirituality because there are many and i don't know for example how many uh, how there are so many people who are incapable of understanding spirituality in the most basic way to be honest uh, there there are so many who just follow something that is presented and don't research by themselves which is uh, maybe a little bit something of this time because it actually uh, it's work to uh, dig into these topics and years of work and it, it actually never stops but <clears throat> sorry uh, I think Christianity is maybe a good example you know and in, in my opinion Christianity is practiced really weird because it's always seen in, in uh, contexts and relation with the Old Testament while all the parts in the New Testament that reference the Old Testament are not the earliest scriptures and the earliest scriptures, which are the letters of Paul, they are actually suggesting that Christianity has been a completely different kind of Christianity as it's presented to us now. So Jesus as the character himself said that he is replacing the rules of the Old Testament and still Christians nowadays believe in those rules. And 
<coughs> that's <coughs> sorry. That's understandable in a way. No, oh, my tea's empty. That's understandable in a way because uh, people need rules, and most of the people are not made for anything that is like liberating for them, or 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 it makes their life maybe even more difficult. Uh, but still it's it's not really truthful when you see the old testament in itself it makes sense when you see uh, the quran in itself it makes sense for the traditions that worship it but when you see uh, the new testament and old testament in relation with each other it makes absolutely no sense so i think there is i don't know a lot of confusion and in, in my beliefs their christianity itself is like gnostic in its core completely and the there are where many you know by I think many of you know that by some time there were a lot of um, Gnostic tribes so to say that were uh, pretty much bigger than the uh, Orthodox so to say um, church back then like the Valentinians like the Valentinians were actually the biggest ones if I'm not mistaken and there were many other tribes uh, of uh, this kind of tradition and religion so um but all of that was destroyed and by the moment the church took over these rules were established but if you read those books together you understand that it makes no sense to bring them in any relation and um this is why in i think one of the biggest reasons for me uh one one of the biggest questions that i have about spirituality why nobody's researching and why nobody's checking anything and making up their own thoughts because many things are very obvious when you when you research them just in in superficially and uh yeah to explain and again like gnosticism if for the people who don't know i just explain it very basically here is like the they believe that reality is not real and the creator of this universe is not the good one so the god of gnostic christianity is the one that is beyond the creation of the universe and uh, the one who wants to liberate from that but uh, also there you need to see that uh, gnosticism is not a religion it's just a view on religions so you this can be applied to all religions that even began in heathen times and not in christian times so yeah that's just a short notice so uh, this is the last one that i'm gonna answer now and uh, this is what was the main reason for you to open up a youtube channel um i'm at a point in my life where i achieved mostly everything that i wanted i'm uh, following like my uh, spiritual beliefs since my childhood i have uh, suc had successful businesses i did what i wanted i fought extremely hard to make all of that possible and um yeah now with a partner and everything and, and I, I have a perfect life so <clears throat> i'm to to conclude i'm i think i'm at the moment ready to even like let things happen as they are because i don't have anything else to achieve and even if death would be there tomorrow i'm totally fine with that you know i'm not a person who is um afraid of that or puts any big emphasis on it now like you know to to avert it um but through that actually i became a little bit a better person in general also towards other people it's a bit weird thing um but that, that's not the topic now i think at the moment i just have the financial capacities to do what i want and that's what i want to do and uh, i know that this niche that i'm in is nothing that is in any way giving anything to me financially in the future or anything like that and I, this is not why i'm doing it um you know it's my my content is way too diverse and i'm doing things that i like instead of focusing on one specific things I, I, thing I, I can't even advertise that but i think i'm just doing that for people who are interested and uh, who want to get in contact and want to know more and maybe uh, find some like-minded people also in in this life to <clears throat> share some i i don't know what's going on my throat is fucked today um yeah that's that's mostly what i'm uh what i'm what i want to do actually at the moment so um i don't know i'm probably doing things that are bad for the algorithm or anything like that but i don't really care about that i think some of the people will like it and if not there is nothing not much to lose so it's fun for me also to 
to do new topics. Uh, I, I think something I miss is also that I anyways had to buy a lot of video equipment because we had someone doing videos in our shop uh, last year, but he left the shop. So in the end, I thought, okay, what could we do? Get someone new who's doing uh, photos and videos for our shop. And I just thought, no, I just do it myself because uh, I just want to learn something new. And also with my job as a tattooer, I... I need to take good pictures anyways and I was never good with that so I think it, this is like a kind of link between the things that I'm already doing and the things I want to do so in that moment I had had all the equipment it was just uh, the point of using it for something else yeah yeah if you like you can uh, write me some comments down here and uh, Tell me your views about this topic. Um, we can have some uh, discussion about that or you can give me thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, anything like that. But I would be interested in your opinions about all of that and hope to see you soon again.